Hey, oh, Andy here, and we're looking at another feature inside of the streamer bot Alpha, which you can get your hands on. I've done videos on about it all over the channel uh, recently. I'll leave all the links in the description, so, so don't worry about that. We're on Alpha 9 now. It's like Nate is just updating this like crazy. Ayo, hey, duckies, you get it, Geo. We are recording this live at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. So if you want to come by and ask questions or you want to see these videos early, Come visit me there, you know, drop a prime sub. You you know, did you know I stream on Twitch? Yeah, I do. That's how it is. And what we're going to be looking at today is using a mouse for triggers, okay? So you know how you can do a keyboard. So if a key is pressed, then a sub action will happen. You can do the same thing, but with your mouse. So you can do some really cool stuff. So uh, I'm only going to kind of show you how it works and then I'll give you an idea and then I want to see what you guys make. So please leave me some links down below. We'll come and talk about it on my stream. Uh, as we're doing this, it'll take a couple of seconds to create a new action. So what I will need you to do is, you know, hit hit the, uh, what, what's, what's that button on, on Twitch? Uh, on YouTube, sorry. It's the subscribe button, isn't it? So subscribe, please. Uh, and I'll leave this group empty. So this is my action. So in none, we've got subscribe because you've all subscribed now. Uh, under triggers, we we can right click. We go to add and go to core. We can also go to inputs and we've got mouse click because we've got key press that you guys already know about, but now we've got mouse click. And obviously if you didn't know, you can actually search it. So if you type in mouse, oh, that's so smooth. And that's it. It's on. Core inputs, mouse click, enabled is yes. And now what we can do is when we start pressing buttons, this will trigger this. Any buttons on my mouse will start triggering. Uh, so I'm going to just use a Twitch chat message again. So I'm just going to search chat and I'm going to go Twitch chat, send message to the channel. And in here, I'm going to put click just for uh, as an example right now. And then now if I left click, I'm going to spam click now. <laughs> so every time I click on the mouse, right click, left click, it'll say click in chat, which is super cool, right? But if we go over to the uh, action history, what we can do, because we called the button subscribe, zoom, jump into it, have a look at the arguments, and it will actually say uh, what button it is and also the coordinates of the mouse. So we can see which button of the mouse it is. Left click is one, right click is two, middle click is three. And then I believe you have, uh, if you've got like a, a one of them cool fancy mice that have got an extra two buttons on the side, then it'll be button four and button five. I believe somebody sent me a lovely picture. I think this one's from Pony originally. Uh, and that'll tell you what it is there. If you are using an MMO mouse, it is important to note, because I'm using an MMO mouse, and uh, it's got obviously 1 to 12 on the side. That just picks up as a keyboard input, so it wouldn't pick it up as a mouse button, so you'd need that as a key press. So you can see how many clicks and stuff like that, which is really cool, uh, and we also have the, the coordinates as well. So you can say if you click your mouse in a specific place on your computer, then it'll do something, which is really cool. So you could make your games more interactive with your stream. So if you press like your bag, for instance, in World of Warcraft, because I'm addicted to World of Warcraft Classic at the minute, you could then get it to do some sort of cool animation on stream, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, something that is really nice for that as well is you imagine you're playing something like um, Call of Duty, Right, you would be able to say, right, if I left click because you're you're popping off or something like that, you could do animations inside of OBS. You could shake the screen and do that kind of stuff. There, there are a lot of choices that you can do with this. But one of my favorite things about this is it registers which button is which. Right, so we can. I'm gonna do a blue Peter. Here's one I made earlier, uh, which it wasn't actually me that made it. It was TD. So if I copy this and I'm going to import it here, and this is a mouse press switch. So this here is basically going to say, it's going to check the argument 
mouse button by doing a switch. So mouse dot button. And then in there, it'll be if it's one, then it'll say button press was one. If it's two, button press was two, and so on. So now if I just turn my old one off there and turn the new one on, it'll stop saying click in there. But this time, it'll say button one was pressed, button two was pressed, button three was pressed. How cool is that? So it'll know exactly which button was pressed, so you can get it to do different things based on that, which is really nice. Um, I, I love it. I think it's great. There's a lot of different use cases for this, so I would love to see what you guys do uh, in the comments down below. So let me know. Make sure you are subscribed. Uh, like the video. Help me out, because we're doing tons of this stream about stuff live on Twitch and obviously here on YouTube. So if you've got any questions, come and ask. Come and see me. All right, Uncle Andy will sort you out. Put your rug over the stone. See you soon.